guys, I'm back and I am still sick. If I didn't mention I'm sick in my last video, well, yeah, I'm sick. Also, if you can hear my TV, I'm watching Spongebob right now. I know it sounds pretty shitty, but whatever. And if you can, well, good for you. Okay, right now we're doing the tonsillectomy and we're taking these thing bots are out. Okay, let's start. <coughs> um, sorry. <coughs> Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual tonsillectomy surgery. Hold I'm Dr. Jeff. Today we'll be Hold removing on a young, one young okay, man's tonsils. Back. This is a common operation that's performed when a patient suffers from frequent bouts of tonsillitis. It's most often performed on younger patients, but adults can need it as well. Yep. The tonsils are located at the back of your throat on either side of the uvula. That's the little uvula. punching bag thingy that hangs down in the uvula. middle. Tonsils are uvula. infection fighters, but occasionally <clears throat> they lose the fight and get infected themselves. They become red and enlarged and can sometimes make it hard to breathe and swallow. Looks like there's pus. Normally we treat this with antibiotics, but when tonsillitis reoccurs frequently, we remove them because the infection can cause more serious damage. Our patient was given a sedative before like being brought mustache. into the operating room, <coughs> and the anesthesiologist will help put him completely under. Help me out <coughs> and place a breathing tube in our patient's nose to assist with breathing while we operate. Oh, this is so awesome. Get to stick a tube up his we nose. We need to get our patient's mouth open wide so we have room to work. To do that, we'll use a special mouth gag retractor that opens the mouth depresses the tongue, and locks into position. Why don't you take a crack at that? Okay. Great Open job. That should give us plenty of room. Now we have to reach in and grab the infected wow. tonsil with the tonsil forceps. We need to pull it to the side to expose the connective tissue. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can do that for you. Nicely done. With the tonsil extended out, we need to place this electrocautery device at the tonsil's base. The device uses high frequency current to cut away tissue and seal off the blood vessels at the same time. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but it's like By six removing right the now, tonsils this way, we reduce bleeding and allow tired. the patient to heal faster. Now that the tonsil uh. has been cauterized, we reach in with a tonsil guillotine clamp. <coughs> the clamp severs the last of the connective tissue and allows us to remove the tonsil from the throat. Can I clamp it? Clamp the tonsil Yay. and pull it out, would you? Oh, gosh. We'll bring the electrocautery device back in here and <coughs> apply it to any bleeding areas. Because this part of the throat heals quickly, we won't need any stitches. Okay. Now we repeat our steps on the other side of the throat. Extend the other tonsil with the tonsil forceps. Okay. Oh, Just like so the tired. other side, we'll cauterize this tonsil to release it, while keeping blood loss to a minimum. I don't know about you guys, but I've been on the computer all day. I am tired. There was a thunderstorm earlier. And, and finally, and, we need to remove the tonsil. Uh, clamp. And don't forget those bleeders. Oh, yeah. That, that looks awesome. I'll clean out the mouth with some irrigation and suction, and then we're all done. I want to suck this. Kill dry. We'll send our patient to recovery for 8 to 10 hours, okay. and more than likely, he'll be able to go home later today. Okay. Once he's sent home, our patient will be okay. put on a course of antibiotics. Okay. He'll need to keep hydrated with cold water or sports drinks. And if he gets hungry, he can have cool, uh, soft foods like fruit pops, gelatin, oh pudding, my gosh, and I of want course, my ice out. cream. Mmm, getting a little hungry? Yes, I am, actually. Thanks for Not stopping really. by SurgerySquad.com. While you're here, check out some of my other spectacular surgeries. They'll always stand the test of time. Ah. I like my hairline. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Holy crap. We barely went through, like, five minutes. And, okay, like... It's only six. I am tired as heck, man. Uh, I'll do. I'll do another one, just for the heck, heck for the heck of it, because we barely went through five minutes. So. Yeah. Okay.
<laughs> ah! Oh god. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Okay. Now we're doing lose tooth removal on. Hold on one second. Alright, we're back. Had some technical difficulties. And let's start. Virtual baby. It's so squishy looking. Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Erupted Wisdom Tooth Extraction. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be walking you through this procedure today. A wisdom tooth extraction is a surgical procedure in which an oral surgeon or dentist removes one or more of your third molars, commonly known as wisdom teeth. Most of us have to have our wisdom teeth removed due to chronic pain or discomfort, periodontal disease, or an increased risk of damage to the adjacent teeth. Some dentists and oral surgeons may also suggest that you have your wisdom teeth removed as a preventative measure, even if they're not currently causing you any problems. Our patient today is having their lower right wisdom tooth removed, or, as a dental professional may refer to it as, tooth number 32. Before we begin, let's get some x-rays taken of our patient's teeth. Okay. X-rays, or radiographs, are essential, low-cost diagnostic tools used to examine a tooth's roots, okay. check the health of the bone surrounding the tooth, okay. observe the status of developing teeth, okay. and locate abnormalities. Okay. Let's get started. Hurry up. First, insert a positioner into the patient's mouth. I'm getting bored. Next, oh, that position weird. the x-ray cylinder where indicated. It's all... It's all... It was all squishy sounding. With the x-ray cylinder in place, we need to get behind our radiation barrier to reduce the amount of radiation we're being exposed to and take the picture. Don't worry, a lead apron will protect our patient from any unnecessary radiation exposure. Okay. I didn't know I couldn't anything. have done it better myself. I'll have my assistant finish up the rest of the x-rays and then we'll view the resulting images. Well, everything appears to be normal with the wisdom tooth's roots. And now that all of the x-rays have been completed, Ow. we can extract our patient's wisdom tooth. Okay. The two most common wisdom teeth extractions Ooh. are for an impacted wisdom tooth or what? an erupted wisdom tooth. Holy crap, Patients that have two over. or more wisdom teeth extracted we'll or have impacted wisdom teeth <clears throat> may choose to receive a general anesthetic. When a patient has an impacted tooth removed, the procedure is referred to as a surgical extraction. Our patient today is only having one erupted wisdom tooth removed that one? and has elected to go with a local anesthetic. Is it this one? It's that to begin, one. I know it. you'll need to apply a topical numbing gel to the <clears throat> anesthetic injection site. This will help decrease any pain the needle may cause. Oh, that's nasty. Next, that's we can squishy. inject the local anesthetic. The patient may feel a slight pinch <clears throat> as the needle is inserted. After that, the area will become <clears throat> numb for a few hours. I mean, like, I know, like, it's, like, just rubbing against that part, but, like, I don't think it would sound all squishy. <coughs> and now we'll give our patient a few minutes to become completely numb. <clears throat> Five minutes later. In my jam. Great. The patient's mouth <coughs> is numb. And now we can move on to removing the wisdom tooth. First, you'll need to loosen the periodontal ligament and elevate the tooth using a dental elevator. Bye. What's this thing? Push. Ah! Using the dental forceps, grip <coughs> and rotate the tooth in a clockwise rocking motion until it's loosened and removed. Okay, so this is the, is this the wisdom tooth? Push it farther back. Ah. Oh. Now clean the area using a surgical suction. This will allow us to check the area for any bony mat. Blah 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 blah. Yeah yeah, I got it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Water. Agua. Agua. That'd be weird. Just like if they just drank the water. <laughs> Everything looks great, but we're not done yet. Our patient needs to slowly bite down on some gauze for a few minutes to allow the socket to properly form a clot. It's 
kind of reminds me of when I got my tooth pulled out. Except it's not my wisdom tooth. Since the patient is clotting properly, we can go ahead and place some fresh gauze in their mouth. Okay. I could have done when that. getting wisdom teeth removed, it's important to remember that everyone recovers at different speeds. Yep. The rate of your recovery depends on a number of factors, yep. including the complexity yep. of the extraction, yep, yep, your yep, age, yep. and your individual yep. recovery yep. capacity. Yeah, hurry up. Often, patients will opt to have their surgery hurry on a up. Thursday or Friday, Get so they're bored. able to return to work on the following Monday. Get it bored. After the surgery, the oral surgeon yep. or dentist will provide some information yep. tips that may help speed up yep. your recovery. These tips may include... Yep using yep. an ice pack on the outside yep. yeah, of the no, cheek I'm for done. the first 24 hours to reduce swelling, refraining from physical <coughs> activity for the first few days, you do, you guys avoiding listen. sodas and the use of a straw, and gently rinsing your mouth out with warm salt water to help relieve pain after the first 24 hours. It's also suggested that patients do not smoke for at least 24 hours after their surgery. Smoking may not only delay healing, but it will also reduce the blood supply and could introduce germs and contaminants to the surgery area. And that's a wisdom tooth extraction. You did great. If you're up to it, why not try another procedure on SurgerySquad.com? <laughs> no. Well, that was the um, wisdom tooth removal thing. So, sorry guys, I'm like I'm tired. I'm I'm tired. Uh, it's not even seven, almost half hour close to. And yeah, well I hope you guys enjoyed those two things. And yeah, hope to see you guys later. Later's.